How can you cut down the silhouette of a spinner bait? And why would you want to do that in the first place? Good morning, guys and girls. Christmas Eve, that's right. Christmas Eve, December 24. December 24, 1 John 3, 6. This is a tough one right here. This has always been a tough one for me. I don't know. Let's just see what I wrote about that. So anyone who lives in Christ does not go on sinning. Anyone who lives in Christ does not go on sinning. And what troubles me about that, and some of y'all might have had a little trouble with this verse also, what troubles me is I was saved at 12 years old. It probably took me not long into this time that I walked out of church to sin again, even though I was saved and became a born-again Christian at 12 years old. And it says right here, so anyone who lives in Christ does not go on sinning. Here's what I wrote about this back in 2005. Now, by the way, if you're not subscribed to the Catch of the Day channel, hit that subscribe button right now. And we're going to start out with a brand new devotional that I wrote January 1. Just right around the corner, about another week, about another week. Ice fishing does not excite me. I've never tried ice fishing, so I really can't say anything bad about it. Actually, I have tried ice fishing now since I wrote this original Catch of the Day book. Um, and, uh, and I enjoyed it. I liked it. I, I enjoyed it. I really did. My real fear about ice fishing is that I might actually have a ball doing it. I know a lot of folks up north who live for the day, actually live for the day when an ice gets thick enough to venture out on. They just can't wait to go ice fishing. I've seen a lot of ice fishing videos start to pop up here lately, so there's a lot of ice fishing going on right now, I believe. I hate to sin. You hear what I'm saying? I hate to sin. All Christians should hate to sin. But we all do. We all sin. Each and every one of us sin. So why in the world do we venture into sin after Jesus Christ has saved us. After we have repented of our sins and asked Him to come into our heart and save us and we have made Him our Lord and Savior. We sin. Listen to me. We sin because we do not live all of our lives in Christ. So anyone who lives in Christ does not go on sinning. But we don't live all of our life in Christ. That's our problem. We're guilty. You and me, guilty as charged. We're guilty of parceling out our lives just a little bit at a time sometimes to Jesus. The parts that we hold back and we won't give to Him completely, those are the ones where we keep on sinning. Think a little bit about some of the sins that you've committed lately. You don't have to comment to me about them, but just think about them. And just think about those sins and if you were holding back some of that part of your life from God. And sometimes so much of that is almost impossible to give up. It's almost possible to get rid of that stuff that causes us to sin and turn that over to God. But until we do, we're going to keep on doing what we hate to do. We're going to keep on sinning. Here's the key deal. God wants and even demands that we turn ourselves completely over to Him. Only then. Only then can we really experience all the great riches that He has for us. You see what happens when we quit sinning? We experience great riches from the God who created us, from our Heavenly Father who made us to love and glorify Him, and He will love and glorify us, and He'll reward us with great riches. Oh, I love this verse. Here's our tip for today. I think I understand it a little bit better myself. Here's our tip for today. To cut down the silhouette of a spinnerbait, remove 10 or 15 strands from the skirt. 
spinner baits are all made up with stra strands. Most of them are silicone, bright colored silicone strands. Uh, our new Red Men spinner bait will have living rubber strands as well. It'll have 40 tails. To cut down on the silhouette, you remove 10 or 15 of those. Just take your scissors and cut them off where you got a spinner bait that has less strands. Now, after you catch a lot of fish on a spinner bait, the fish will remove those strands for you. You don't even have to do it. And your spinner bait will get thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. And that's a good deal because that means you've caught a lot of fish on it. And you might look at it and say, what thing just doesn't, it's got too small a silhouette comes through the water. You want to put in, so you put a new skirt on it. But sometimes, and, you, and, and when, when you really want to do this is probably in really clear water. When you're fishing really clear water, you want to reduce the silhouette of that down. Also, when the water's cold is a good time to do it, but the water's clear and you want to reduce that silhouette down and make it actually take a half ounce or a three quarter ounce spinner bait and make it a smaller spinner bait by taking some of those strands out. You might want to change that blade, put a little smaller blade on also, and you'll reduce it. Now, one of the things that the new Redman spinner bait does is it's got a shorter arm on it, so it's a pretty small silhouette bait to begin with. One of the reasons you catch so many fish on it. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. If a lot of you are going to be opening presents tonight, I know. Remember, as you're gathered with your family, acknowledge why we're celebrating all of this this time of the year. The birth of the Savior of the world. Guys and girls, Merry Christmas. Have you a great New Year's, uh, Christmas Eve. Have you a great Christmas and a great week. Remember, I sure do love you.